Well, outdoor enthusiasts or anyone who's been to Green Lakes, the picturesque park is growing. And the Parks Department wants your input on how its new addition is being used. News Channel 9's Rob Hackford got a first-hand look and explains how you can get involved. The last time Green Lakes made a major land addition, the year was 1975. It's been a while, but this new extension will push the park past 2,000 acres. This is actually the newly acquired parcels. Three of them in total, about 261 acres in all. I just knew it was out there, and all of a sudden, oh my gosh! Now we have it, so where do we go from here? Wendy Vander Bogart will eventually help redesign the land for future park goers, which for some might be a little different than the typical experience. So many people come and just do the lake trails. It's a totally different feeling, and we're hoping that this new acquisition gives people that same opportunity. The largest piece of land is right behind me. It's a cornfield right now and doesn't look like much, but it could be anything in the future. It's right along Pearson Road in the golf course is right across the street. So the boundaries actually go up to this tree line, and if you just follow the farthest tree line all the way to the top. The Parks Department is seeking public input and holding a meeting on Thursday. The land isn't connected to the existing park, but still has plenty of uses. It's got such a great view. Is it gonna be for uh, you know, additional hiking trails, uh, other kinds of multi-use trails, unknown at this point? Better this than development, which it could easily have been. Uh, to protect the view shed from the park this way and also to enjoy the view shed from here back. Expanding and preserving the beauty of Green Lakes for many years to come. In Manlius, Rob Hackford, News Channel 9. Oh, picture if you will. And if you would like to weigh in, that meeting is this Thursday at the Fayetteville Village Hall. It starts at 7 o'clock in the evening.